Today's a special day. Now, before we actually get today's video started, really quickly, I just wanna say thank you very much for tuning in to today's show, channel, video. I never really know what to call it. There's a few different possibilities, but we'll go with show today. For those of you guys that don't know, my name is Raymond Warner, and here on this channel we do all kinds of stuff with scootering, skateboarding, biking, action sports, just having fun and doing things that are positive. Do not worry you guys, this quick little interruption is definitely worth it. A few months ago I got a call from Don Vetta and he was asking me to feature in one of his up and coming covers called Tequila. I instantly went down, we recorded everything, I got all my singing portions down and then sadly Don got hurt so we weren't able to film the entire music video and get everything up and ready to go until now. That's right, the tequila cover is officially live. If you guys wanna go check it out, link will be in the description below. So after you finish watching this video, make sure you go down, click on that link down below and check out the video. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Every single bit of support is immensely appreciated by both Don as well as myself. I went like this, I meant to say myself and Don, but that works. So yeah, go check that one out. But until then, grab your snacks, grab a drink, and enjoy today's vlog. That's not my water. Today's a very special episode because we are here at Megazone by ourselves. Alone. 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 Why is that special? Well, it's special because I used to go to the older Megazone a lot by myself and just, just ride and have a good time. That's actually kind of how this channel was started. That's kind of what we did originally. That was kind of more grassrootsy for me personally. So it's cool to get back over to the newer Megazone by myself just to ride, have a good time, and just film and do weird stuff. So that's exactly what we're doing. Weird stuff. So today's well idea and kind of um, experiment, I guess you could say, is you see this wheel here? This is like, I guess it, I'm gonna call it a swivel wheel, rotating wheel, whatever you wanna call it. That's what we're doing. The idea is to get this wheel and kind of put it like that on the bottom. Is that gonna be tall enough? I might actually have to take my back wheel off because I, I don't really want the back wheel to be touching as opposed to this one because I almost want to do like kind of like a drifting idea. That landed perfectly. The hardest thing about these videos, aside from actually trying to think of the idea, is trying to think of how to make it all work. Although this one shouldn't be too difficult. It's not that complex. I mean, we have this, this wheel here with the spinning edge on the top and some relatively flat surface on the bottom. At least there's an edge here that is kind of flat. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take some super glue, which I use a lot of here on this channel, and we're gonna put essentially just a line of that super glue here along that flat edge as best as we can and as much of it as we can, and we're just gonna super glue it to the bottom of the deck. Pretty simple. But it's kind of boring if you just think of it like that, so we're gonna make this whole area right here not boring with the cinema. Well, um, success, I guess you could, whoa, it smells like super glue. Ugh. I don't necessarily have the best luck with super glue. I'm actually, can you be bad at super glue? I'm assuming you can. Well, if you can, that's me. I'm bad at super glue. I glue my fingers together all the time. This was an easy one. I also put like almost um, like a little bead on the end uh, of each side of the actual, what would you call that? plate, I guess, just to make sure that it's a little bit more reinforced than it actually needs to be. Normally super glue when it comes to stuff like this doesn't necessarily stick all that well. I mean, it, it probably because I don't clean it so much, things like that. Um, all in all, I think this is gonna work pretty well. I don't know how well we're gonna be able to go straight or how well it's gonna drift, but all I can do at this point is hope for the best. So let's get out there, test this thing out and hope that this thing works. How am I gonna get this off? Ooh, didn't think about that. Oops. Better. 
I have to make sure that my, my like, hey Siri thing is on because I'm by myself. Hey, look, dollar, nice. If I fall while I'm riding and I can't get up, Siri, she's gonna save me. She's gonna be my savior for the day. I've fallen and I can't get up. But we're gonna get a few clips on the board really quick because I, I put up a poll a little while ago asking if you guys liked when I skated in the vlog and like 90% of you said yes. So I'm cool with that. I like skateboarding. this weird scoot really quick. Whoa, all right, well, um, first impressions. This thing is hella awkward, I'll tell you that much. It's really cool though, because like, you can do a tail without ever even leaving the ground, so we're definitely gonna try to do that. Um, it spins well, uh, it, the, the, it doesn't roll that good though. I'll tell you that, because there's not actual bearings in this thing. All it is is like a piece of plastic with a piece of metal going through so that this thing spins. It's not really for mounting on the bottom of a scooter or anything like that. I know, big surprise, right? It's mainly for like the bottoms of like desks or like filing cabinets, things like that, you that you need to like move around and I'm sure you can bolt them in or super glue them. Super glue works great. For those of you guys that need to put this on a filing cabinet, you're welcome. But you can drift. You can, so if you guys want a, a drift scooter, boom, boom. So without further ado, let's see what we can do. All right, well, first impressions with actually riding this thing, it's super, super noisy. But, watch the drifting. Um, well, you can do it. I just, uh, I'm new, okay, I'm learning. Hopefully you guys can see this. Oh. Oh, the drift, whoa! See, like the tail thing I was talking about? You can tail without ever leaving the ground. <laughs> oh my God. So you didn't sound that good. I forgot to get a thumbnail. We need a thumbnail. How are we gonna take this? Okay, maybe we should use the big lens. I'm thinking something like this, but like me and this side. Let's try that. Go. Oh, turn the screen around. Boom. Okay, another one. Ah. I hate thumbnails. Okay, so thumbnail has been acquired, but I want to see how many flat tricks we can get done on this thing. I want to see if we can do bar spins, tail ups, andies, 360s. How many tricks can we do on this swivel wheel scooter spinning wheel, third wheel? Never mind. Trick number one, obviously, is a bar spin. Trick number two, tail whip. Trick number th three, three, heel whip. Ooh. No, damn it. Oh God, no, please. We haven't even done the 360. No, no. Stay there, please. Oh, I almost glued my hand to it. Oh, I almost glued my hand to my pants. It's good. Stay on, please. Um, update. Okay, so update, we're, uh, it's not heavy, it's pissed. The wheel's pissed. Cause it knows it's on a scooter. It knows it's not on a chair. So it's upset, it's fallen off. Um, I still need to do a couple tricks. I, I said that I was gonna do a 360 and a double whip. I don't know about the double whip. It's gonna fly off, I think. But the 360 might work. So let's go with the 360 first and then the double up afterwards, and seriously, like, cause I wanna at least try to take it down the roll. We should probably do that first. We're taking it down the rolling. I wouldn't say that I'm afraid, but I would say I'm, I'm concerned. I'm definitely concerned. Oh! Dang it! it! Fell off! A 
update. The wheel fell off again. It's not a good, it's not in a good position right now. Um, it's very stuck. I tried to get it off twice. It's not working. Um, we have a problem. Not to mention there's glue right here all over the ramp. There's glue over there. It's not good. Oh, it came off. Well, that was clickbait if I've ever seen it. I just tried to get that thing off like a couple times. It was not moving. All right, well, being that the wheel fell off, there's not really much else I can do with it. I have more super glue, but I feel like putting all the super glue back on is just gonna be a waste because I know it's gonna fall off again. Like I said, sometimes I get lucky with the super glue stuff, but 70% of the time, I either glue my fingers together or it just doesn't work like that. It's bad, it's not good. I need to go to super glue school, SGS. But shout out to Scooter Zone for letting me come here whenever I want at nighttime when nobody's here just to mess around and do weird things. If you guys have not already, make sure you do go down, click that subscribe button and click that bell so you guys know every single time that I upload, whether it's a scooter video, whether it's a new mountain bike video when I get a bike, skateboard video, fun video, just having fun, then you'll know. And your day will be 110% better. I can guarantee that. But until next time, I'm out of here. Later. I, 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 I,